Hi everyone, it's me Leo back again with another video. This video is actually very different. I'm going to try and make an educational video on British tree identification. Um, so I've put together a PowerPoint, some very basic kind of information about some trees you might see outside um, if you come to Britain. Um, so I've kind of put together the leaf identification, kind of any f seeds, fruits or flowers um, you may see um, with these trees. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not a tree expert, I've kind of just made it my hobby in the last few weeks to try and learn a little bit more about trees because I think it's quite a cool thing to learn about. Um, but if you're a beginner, hopefully this has some very, very, very basic information um, that will help you identify trees. And as I'm not an expert, if there's anything kind of incorrect in this uh, PowerPoint, just put it in the comment section because um, I'm not kind of... I'm not 100% about everything on here, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Also, I have not taken any of these images. I've just got them off Google Images, so credit to whoever's taken them. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, right, I've put a list of a couple of trees. This isn't every single tree that you'll see, but just some kind of common ones. Um, so let's start. So we're going to start with the alder tree. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So this tree is kind of lives near swampy water, um, usually. Start with the leaf. So the leaf, as you can see, looks like this. It's quite a distinct shape. Um, I think the main thing about this leaf is it has a kind of little little notch at the end, um, which you see in most of the leaves of the alder tree. Um, it's not really that serrated, although there is a little bit of kind of um, serratedness around the outside. They're not particularly big. Um, so here, here we have the alder leaf. I just think it's quite easy to remember what it looks like. So here we here we go. Let's move on. So we're going to the seeds, kind of fruits that come come with this tree. There are different types of elder tree. I know there's like I think there's like a red and a green. Might be wrong, but I, that's that's when I was doing a bit of research. I think that's what I, I came across. They've all got slightly different looking fruit seeds. Um, they look a little bit like small cones when they dry up. As you can see here. And then some of them are like a bit longer. I think if you've been outside, you've probably seen these before. Yeah, these are from the elder tree. And there are kind of sub categories of elder tree, like different types of elder tree. Um, but this is the general kind of what, what the seeds look like, as you can see. So yeah, the little kind of cone shaped um, seeds. And these are the buds. They look a bit like as a beginner I can't really tell much from these buds apart from um, I believe they're described as alternative or alternating Alter I'm going to call them alter alternating um, buds which means there's one here and then there's one here whereas you have opposite in some of the some of the species of trees where there's kind of two next to each other we'll come across that in some of the other species that we're going to cover but alder has alternating buds which means there's alternating leaves so that's a good way of kind of identifying alder tree um so that's the alder tree basically we've just gone over the leaf kind of the, the seeds and that it's uh alternating buds um and it's near water so we're going to move on to the ash tree which is another common tree in the um in britain so we're going to the leaves of an ash tree so the leaves are actually quite big it's, um, I think you'd classify this whole image here as a leaf, um, even though it kind of has, it's like a complex, I think you call it like a compound leaf. It has many sections. I think the only other one on here that's an, also a compound is a, the horse chestnut leaf that we're going to come on to. As you can see, there's kind of a stem with multiple little leaves coming off. They're slightly serrated, but I mean, I think this is quite iconic of an ash leaf. Uh, so there we go. The fruit, um, well, I put fruit here, they're actually seeds, because um, I, I don't know if they ripen and have kind of, but as you can see, they look very similar to kind of helicopters that you see with like maple trees or um, maple, maybe the, even the sycamore type of maple tree. Um, but they look slightly different. They're slightly long, like less kind of curved. They're quite straight looking. Um, it's quite interesting. So this is the ash seed. They come in clusters. Uh, like bunches like so yeah they look they look like the helicopters that you'd see in like a maple tree um, so that's one thing that some people might get confused with 
and they do flower and then flowers are like this oh and then the big problem is the ash dieback which is a, a fungus that's attacking the ash trees uh, I've got some images of kind of some trees that are being attacked so I believe it's a fungus that kind of grows beneath the bark uh, and you just see kind of patches of dying ash tree um, so that's how you'd spot an ash tree with ash dieback uh, we're going with the buds um, these are actually opposite buds as you can see they're next to each other and so there's going to be leaves growing kind of opposite each other uh, so we're moving on to the aspen tree so here we go we've got a little the most generic looking leaf i mean as someone who's not a tree expert that just looks like a kind of a more circular leaf with some serrating but it's not very kind of sharp looking serration serration if that's so they have flowers, it's kind of like drooping. Look like this, I don't even know how to describe this to be honest. Look like this. And then you got the buds. Um, I believe these are, as you can see, they're alternating. That was it, that was the aspen tree. We're going on to the beech tree. So this is the common beech tree. I know there's different variations of beech tree as for all these trees the common one um, right so the leaf I know I've seen a lot of these outside these are very dry crispy feeling leaves and uh, uh, some thing to know about these leaves is they have like a furry texture underneath and around the outside of the edge the serrated edge um, so they're quite furry and then the seeds they're very distinct like you've probably seen these they they kind of have an outer casing that's a bit furry. Yeah, they're like pyramids almost. Um, yeah, so the, these are the beech seed. Very distinct. If you see them underneath or kind of growing on the beech tree, or the furry leaves that are quite distinct to the beech tree, you know it's a beech tree. I feel like beech trees are very easy to identify. Uh, and they do actually flower. So these are some of the flowers that grow they're also very furry these are the buds of a beech tree they are alternating not opposite um, so these are alternating and the thing to know about these is they're quite spiky uh, i've seen a few images of them and they're quite spiky looking buds okay into the birch tree so there's two main types i know there's lots more but um, there's a downy and a silver uh, birch. Silver birch to me is like, when I think birch, I think silver birch. Um, I'm actually just going to go back to that previous slide. So here on the right hand side, we have the silver birch with the silver bark. And then there's the downy one on the um, left hand side. So on the right hand side, we've got the silver. Left hand side, we've got the downy. Right, so the birch leaves a bit more triangular. I'm trying to move myself out of the way uh, and they're very serrated leaves um, so i believe the one on the i've kept it the same way around so the one on the right is from a images from a silver birch and then there's a downy birch on the left hand side very triangular green kind of serrated but to someone like me it's not a massive tree expert they just look like leaves honestly i, I don't think that's a very easy way to distinguish so then the seeds, I feel like the seeds from the different types of birch do look slightly different, but this is just a generic search for birch seeds. Um, and they're kind of like, they come down in long little sausages almost. Um, I've definitely seen these out and about. Buds, so these are also alternating buds. Um, they also just look like, I'm not good enough to kind of tell anything apart. Like these look like generic tree buds. Um, but apart from their alternating. Okay, so we're moving on to the sweet chestnut tree. That's a very blurry image we've got there, but oh well. Okay, so sweet chestnut. I think there's a more complicated name, but I'm just calling it the sweet chestnut. So they're all quite long leaves, um, and they are alternating along a branch, as you can see here. Um, they almost look a little bit like ash tree um, 
as in they're long, but if you look closely, they don't look anything like an ash tree leaf. A um, little bit of serration. So that's the sweet chestnut leaf. Right, this is how I would distinguish the sweet chestnut is the, the seeds. Um, so they're, they're you've, you may have already seen these, but these are the kind of very spiky case, like very spiky, hard to touch, a hard, hard to pick up casing. And then it's got your seeds inside. Uh, almost a little bit like conkers, um, but they're not they're not like the typical conkers you'd see in like a horse chestnut. And these do these do also flower. So I know I had one across the road from the house that I, when I lived or at home. I've got one across the road, and I do remember kind of in winter autumn that they have all these flowers. Or is it winter autumn? Don't quote me on that. At some point in the year, they're all over the all over the road. Like there's a lot of flowering these sweet chestnut and these are the buds they're alternating they just look like buds I, I'm not good enough at tree identification yet to kind of pick out any uh, features okay so right, we're moving on from the sweet chestnut to the horse chestnut so this is a horse chestnut tree right so the leaves are, the leaf of the horse chestnut tree actually looks very different it's as you can see it's kind of like a complex leaf compound leaf um, even sorry, I shouldn't even more coffee. This is gonna be a long, this is a long one. I made you guys a, a proper long educational tree video. So, yeah, you probably, I mean, you may have already seen these before. I think you believe it's compound leaf, um, I believe it's called, and it's got like these um, five segments to it. Yeah, so here we go, it's a little bit serrated. And then the seed of the horse chestnut is the conker. So it's obviously got the spiky shell, not quite as spiky as a sweet chestnut, but then the seed inside is, um, uh, the, the conker inside is a lot bigger. And obviously it's like, it's a conker. So there we go, that's the horse chestnut. And they also flower, slightly different looking flowers. Um, they look like this. And then there's the buds. Okay, so from the buds, these look like opposite. They do look like opposite. Um, yeah, so these, these are opposite buds. But uh, I probably wouldn't, this wouldn't be the easiest way to identify a horse chestnut. I think you just see the conkers or the leaves are very distinct. I'd probably identify it that way. So there we go, that's the horse chestnut. Right, we're moving on to another very iconic tree. This is an awful image. And you're not gonna get anything out of that image. The hazel tree, hazel leaf, serrated kind of a wetter leaf with a kind of a bit of a bristly um, kind of stem coming off of it. To me, this looks like a very generic leaf. I think the leaves are quite big actually um, compared to other leaves. Well, no, I mean, big is, yeah, it's not a very, very accurate statement. But yeah, this is the hazel leaf. Easy way to identify hazel trees are by the seeds. So these, these are the hazel seeds, hazel nuts. Um, yeah, you've probably seen these before. And they also have flowers. So I just found some image about these are the female flowers, the little, little purple ends to the buds. And then there's the male flowers that kind of dangle down. These dangling down seeds to me at the moment they it feels like every other tree has them they don't kind of distinguish trees that easily from these kind of dangling seeds flowers um and they're alternating buds as you can see oh we've gone too far right so the alternating buds yeah so that's the um the hazel tree i'd probably identify these by the the seeds or the, the nuts the, the hazel nuts right we're moving on to the elm tree Generic looking leaf, uh, very, very serrated, a bit smaller than the, the hazel. Uh, then we're going on to the seeds. These are very distinct. I've seen these quite quite a lot um, when, when going outside. Uh, I believe these are the fruit as well, because I think the, uh, the outside ripens and you've got the seed in the middle. Yep, so these are quite distinct to the elm tree. And it's got the flowers, flowering buds. I think the, the seeds of the fruit grows out at the end of these. 
Um, these are alternating buds. There we go. Um, so we're going to go to the maple tree. So the maple, this is a field maple, but maple is such a broad category of trees. Um, so I'm sort of just going to kind of generally cover the maple because there's just a lot of trees that are maple trees. But the general rule, I think, is that the, the leaves look kind of similar. As you can see, I think the, the red maple here is a good example of what a kind of a standard maple tree looks like. It's a bit like a horse chestnut. Um, leaf but then connected there's no individual parts to it uh, I don't know that's that's how I see it anyway um, so there's the maple okay seeds they're like the the, the helicopters um, but as you can see there's like a slightly thicker part at the top that's how you would um, distinguish these and, they, and they're usually in pairs as well the maple seeds so I think these are specifically from the sycamore tree which is a type of maple tree um, but maple buds are opposite which is a, one of the features of the maple they've got opposite buds as you can see right so we're going to finish on a very very common tree the oak tree um, probably very well known easy to kind of distinguish tree oak leaf very iconic very kind of easy to distinguish it's like not serrated it's very just kind of like bobbly um, and it gets a bit a bit wider towards the end but you can see that and you think that's an oak that's an oak leaf and then they've got the um, acorns um, there's the seeds uh, associated with like squirrels so they're pretty cool very I think this is quite an easy one most people should should be able to see these and know there's an oak tree alternating buds as we can see in this image and that is the end so i've done a different type of educational video um i'm going to probably do a bit more in depth into different in i'm going to do some more trees well oh, i've gone too far so i was going to do some another video maybe some more trees kind of um go a bit more in detail on trees i want to learn a bit more about trees so hopefully my knowledge on these trees will kind of increase making these videos a bit better but if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe and i will see everyone in my next video the end